Lady there says she saw a friend abducted and she saw a large craft overhead. They claim they saw flashes of light and then Ben Murphy and his crew disappear from his boat. No sign of the crew. The same time the body dropped, we were sent that image on a phone that hadn't been invented yet. Time-traveling aliens are doing experiments on humans and making a power play. We know where it's going to happen next. Where? How do you even pronounce that? No, come talk, how you do it? Why did I come back to Wales? You tell me. Bodies. Let's get drunk and make some mistakes. No, he's complaining. Storm front's covering most of Wales at this point. Ten, nine. The cloud cover is moving outward. Eight, seven. It's what? Aliens don't exist. We need to stay together. Time travel does not exist. They are alien human hybrid killing machines. Yeah, that's brilliant, that is. Mama told me not to come. Mama told me not to come. She said that in the way to have fun. A sign. What the fuck is going on here in Wales? Here it comes. Peter Strife, the director of Canaries. Hello. Can you tell the folks a little bit more about Canaries? Yes, Canaries is, um, uh, it takes place on New Year's Eve in uh, the Welsh valley town of Lower Cumtuch, which is a real place. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and, and it's, it's fun to try and hear um, Americans try to pronounce that. We address that in the film. Um, I can't see it. Basically, it's, it's about uh, uh, aliens um, invading a Welsh valley during a drunken New Year's Eve party. And then it, it sort of cuts, it, it mostly takes place in Wales, but it cuts between okay. Wales and the US in Washington DC where the uh, Department of Defense are monitoring this invasion from afar because they've been tracking these aliens for quite some time. Oh my. Now you base this in Wales, why on earth Wales, what's so special about Wales? Well, I, you know, I, I, I'm biased, I have to love Wales, I was born there. <laughs> um, but also, um, two things, one, um, the Valley of Lower Cumtuch, where, uh, uh, the Valley Village of Lower Cumtuch, where we set the film, is a real place. And um, uh, I just, I've always loved it, it's never been shot in before. So it's cool. the first time audiences will ever see it on, on film. <laughs> and also, really, Wales is really becoming uh, sort of uh, the, the, the Canada of the UK. I think so. The idea is is that it's it's shot in a lot, but it always it, it like Canada. It's often like let's pretend it's not Canada. It's like let's pretend it's not Wales. Mm -hmm. So what I what I'd love to do is to is to give more um, voices for for Wales playing itself, and that doesn't always have to be films about sort of traditional Wales. You know, it could just be films that happen to be in Wales, and in the same way that there are films out there that just happen to be in Ireland or Scotland. It's just a it's a backdrop, but it it sort of carves mm -hmm. more of a, a regional identity, and you know, a lot of people sort of don't even know that whales exist. They think it's just a what? big fish. No, it so, is not a big fish. <laughs> no, it's a big dragon. 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 Um, so the idea is uh, Wales has played several other, you know, um, countries or uh, landscapes and mm -hmm. stuff like that, but it's, it, it, I think it deserves to, to play itself more and uh, there are tremendous actors and crew there and it's a great place to shoot and I'd love to sort of have more Welsh stories on the international scene. That's, that's wonderful. I'm always really excited when smaller places can be highlighted like that. Yeah, so absolutely. Cool. Thank you so much, Peter. We're really Thank excited you. for Canaries. Oh, go me, Canaries. me as well. Yeah, go Canaries.